Hey, I'm Jerry F. Smith, President and CEO of the J.F. Smith Group. Today I want to talk about why you do a feasibility study. The reason you do a feasibility study is to determine the positives, the negatives, the pluses, the minuses, anything that might affect the outcome of a campaign. Uh, I can assure you that if you want to be successful in any kind of campaign effort, you should do a feasibility study first. I've seen studies where schools and organizations do not do a feasibility study prior to starting a campaign, and over 50% of those campaigns fail. So it's important that you do the study. Now, one of the things that we do, which is a little different than most others that you come in, other companies you come in contact with, is we interview a large number of people. Uh, we interview 100 plus. I mean, we've done over 200 interviews in some with some organizations. Now, why do you, you say? Well, why do you do that? Well, we do it for two reasons. One is we want to do we want to interview a large number of people because we want to come up with what's the right dollar amount uh, that we should go forth with in a working campaign goal. Uh, the other thing is we want to cultivate all of your prospects. See, most companies or most other people who do feasibility studies, they have one primary purpose, and that is to determine the right amount to go forth in a campaign. As I said before, our purpose is twofold. One is to get, try to get that right ask amount or that right dollar amount for the campaign working goal. And the second one is to cultivate those relationships. So we interview a large number of people. We think that's the right process, the right way to go about the business of feasibility studies. And when you do, it's like building a house. You build a house with a solid foundation. You build a campaign uh, with a good, solid feasibility study.